Okay, hey everyone, welcome to the next tutorial on GIMP. Today what I want to try and do is work more with layers and show you how to stack them up. Like I was talking about before, we've right-clicked on stuff, we edit it, we cut it, and then we paste it as a new layer. Think again as a layers as you're stacking up a hamburger. Right now my background is my bottom of my bun, and then I have all these other objects that I'm clicking on as my layers. Each one has a yellow and black box, that means I'm selecting it. You can also click on the eyeball, and it would disappear. And if you put a chain in between two layers, such as uh, this head and a hot dog, when I select them both, if I hit the move tool over here, they're both going to move at the same time. That's another option you can do with the layers. You can double click on one of them and change the words around so that you know what exactly you're working with. But there's a lot of other great features you can do with the layers. My goal today is that I want to try and make it look like this hot dog is behind my hand or the little girl's hair is over my face over here. Before you go any further into your work today, please make sure you click on File and Save As. We need to save this project as a XCF. XCF is the default file type of GIMP and that way we can save our layers. So click on your drive so you know where you're saving your work and hit the little plus sign down at the bottom. Make sure you select GIMP XCF. That way you can save your layers and you can work on this another day. Sometimes this program crashes randomly or you hit the close button by mistake. So make sure you hit save all the time. And if asked you replace it, that just means you're overriding the file you did last time. Some other layer features you could play around with are like the uh, shearing tool where you can kind of make an image look like it's slanted on its side. You can always hit shear. You can click also on the free rotate tool and if I slide this bar around it's going to get my angle just right and hit rotate when you're done. Each time it's got to render it and then always go back to your move tool if you need to move it back to wherever you got to go. The way the layers are stacked is that they're going to be one on top of one another. You can uh, drag these around to wherever you need to move them if you want them up on top of one another. But you can also move them around to where you need to be and you can actually use the green arrows like you do in PowerPoint if you want one thing in front of behind the other one. So right now I have waist up. If I have the hot dog on top of the waist up it's going to put it in front of my face. But I want to actually put it right above and then we're going to copy my hand and make that in a new layer. So let's see uh, how we're going to do that. Click on your lasso tool first and we're going to highlight a selected area. The, the lasso tool, the free select tool, is very similar to the pair of scissors except it automatically doesn't go around stuff. But what's better is if you can mess up like I did there, I can just hit the backspace key and it'll go back one dot. So start to go all around the one area that you want to do and then press enter when you're done. So you have that selection. Okay, so now I have my selected area that I got, and I'm going to right-click on it, edit, and copy. And now this time we're going to right-click and edit, paste as a new layer again. You can see here I now have a new layer. It automatically comes up clipboard hand one. I'm going to call it hand copy. Okay, now let's paste it as a new layer. You can see that I have a floating hand right over it. And now what we got to do is just like you see here, the hand copy is above the hot dog. We kind of want to make a sandwich of the hand copy, the waist up and the hot dog right in between. So hit the move up tool and we're going to have to scale it of course. And then we select the hand copy, you move it, and then we're, we're going to scale it down. I mean, it's not too bad. It kind of looks like it belongs there. Maybe if I had my hand open, it look a little bit better. But I'm going to do the same process right now for my hair. Maybe you could try and do it on your own. So the first thing I did is I make a selection, and I select the hair on the background, and I'm going to copy it. And then I paste it as a new layer, as if it was a wig. I then need to arrange my layer so that the wig layer is on top of my head layer. I can then drag my hair over and then I'll have to scale my head next. Ta-da! See what